All right, so what we have here is a G2 alternator. The G2 alternator comes on 80s to early 90s, 351W Windsor motors. That would commonly be things like uh, the Mustang of that era and uh, the Bronco as well. Probably even the uh, F-150s um, that have the 351 as well. So this one, part number on it is uh, DL7734, at least it is for AutoZone, which is where I got this one. Something to keep in mind, you'll see I have a box over here to the side. That was this pigtail right here. This pigtail may or may not be integrated into the alternator, and even though the part number is the same, so I had traded this out for another DL7734, it may or may not come with a pigtail. Uh, if you need the pigtail, it's about 10 bucks. What I would recommend doing is go ahead and order the pigtail at the same time you order the alternator, and then when you unbox it, just see if you need it or not. Then I would also retain, because it won't come with this, the other wiring harness that's here on the side. So without further ado, let's get into the wiring. So because this wasn't integrated, you'll have to connect these two wires, which is a white wire with a black stripe. Those two will connect together. Then the orange and black wires, along with this yellow wire, will all um, go to the positive terminal of the battery. Most diagrams show that actually all three of those going into a fusible link and then going into the battery. So however you want to wire that up, just kind of keep in mind that those three wires go together. This last wire here, which is a white, or I'm sorry, green wire with a brown stripe, that goes to the alt light on your dash. So if for some reason your alternator fails, like my last one did, the alt light will light up inside the cab and that'll tell you uh, that your alternator is going bad. So that's what that would hook up to. I don't know that you necessarily need to hook that one up. That's just basically a sensor indicator warning light. Uh, if your vehicle has it and you don't plug it in, I believe the light may still, I can't remember if the light stayed on or not, but uh, th again, that's what that one's for. So that's how you wire it up. I've got this oriented correctly too. So you'll notice here that this little tab, this tab is going to be up near the top when you're looking at the motor. The bolt will actually go in through the back here and thread in through the back. And then the other one is here and the bolt will go straight through to the back. And then you'll probably also need, I have one here but I don't have it handy, uh, a either a socket wrench or I've got an actual dedicated tool for basically loosening the tensioner. You'll put the uh, your socket or the little tensioner tool on the tensioner and you'll pull it towards the passenger side and then that'll loosen the, the tensioner enough so you can actually get the belt looped on. Uh, the uh, in, a, in a future video, I'll actually show you how all that's set up as well.